Okay, morning guys. I'm actually back. Um, seems like ages since I've made a video. Um, I've just, June has just been an absolutely chaotic month. Um, so I'm actually back and I've made a few things because um, I want to restock my Etsy shop. So I've got a few things that I just want to show you. Um, I've also got um, a few bits that I just want to show you these, which is some lace and some doilies that I actually got from the car boot at the weekend. And also, here we are, I want to show you how to get from a, a plain piece of card to a nice gessoed inked piece of card. So I've been asked a couple of times by a few of you if I could show you the process of me doing it. So I'm just going to show you how to do that and it's fantastic because I do it on a big scale. I do it on a big piece of a big piece of card like this black one. So it's like the A1 card um, and then you've got, also got it ready. So if you want to make tags, if you want to make little booklets, it's all there ready for you to just to cut up. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first off, I'm going to show you a few bits and pieces that I've made. So this is one of my um, a little journal that I've made. Um, it's just got a little fabric cover um, and I've actually attached it just with a little piece of seam binding. So this has got some like vintage lace on it. Um, it's got a beautiful little fabric flower, um, a little seam binding. Um, no, it's not seam binding. It's a little lace with a little um, pearl on there. And then on the back, we've got lots of bits and pieces. And that's one of my little fabric hearts that I make, which I've sewn on the back. Um, we have a few little dingly danglies down. This is just a plain journal. So I haven't put a huge amount in it because I thought it'd be quite nice to have a journal which you can actually write in and stick all your little bits and pieces in yourselves. Um, so on here, I've just got a little envelope here um, with a little... Um, fold out piece of paper here look that you can do a little journaling on and a little pocket to put some little bits and pieces in um, it just folds in there and all the pages have all been gessoed so I'm going to show you this technique um, and I think it just looks really really lovely um, and this is one of my seam binding flowers so it's just made out of card I've got my botanical book that pages on here Got a couple of little pockets um, and then mostly it's just seen um, tea stained paper that I've done on here so you can add all your little bits that you want to add to it and little pockets we've got some little um, some bits of uh, music paper and they've got little tags on the top it's a fabric Go little pockets, a little bag there, pop bits in. A little tag in here, so it's a little pocket, so you can have a little write something on there. A little butterfly. And this is what I've printed off. This is beautiful. These are the, like the little dandelion seeds on there, so I thought it looked really pretty. A corner pocket, and we've got some bits and papers and more printouts and. Bit of lace on this side, the other side of that paper, and got some pockets. There we go, it's just a plain one with bits and pieces in. Got a few dingly danglies hanging off it. That's the other side of the pocket. So we've got a little tiny little booklet in there. You can pop little bits on. So that goes in there. And we've got the other side of the pocket. I'm not quite sure how many pages there are in this one. Um, it comes that just folds out, so you can do some journaling on there. Um, and then we've got a little pocket at the back. And it's just got some little bits of fabric on there. So I thought that was really nice, and it's a really nice size, um, sort of like a handbag size. So it's just like a little notebook journal. Um, and it's just held together with a little bit of seam binding. So there we go. Nice little quick um, flip through for that one. So that will be on my Etsy store soon. And then I've got a little package here. So this is one of my little wallet journals that I make. Um, and then I've got a little embellishment pack to go in there as well to go with it. So this again, I've just 
popped it together with a little bit of seam binding which I've sewn down the back and then I've got these are really lovely to pop into your handbag um, so if you want to just do a little bit of pop little notes in here a little bit of paper that you've got floating around write a little bit of a note on there phone numbers so that's a nice little handy wallet to pop in your bag and then I've just got a little bit of an embellishment pack to go with it. Um, so this is just a envelope that I've made. And I've lined it with a nice bit of, bit of paper. And there's a few embellishments. So these ones I've done, I have done a few of these before and popped them on my Etsy store. So these are the fabric butterflies, a fabric heart and a little tag. So these I've actually popped little... Um, the little bulb pins on there so you can hang them off you can even hang them off a journal or a book or anything or you could just take the pin off and actually attach it to your journal um, so there's all sorts of ways you can use it you don't have to use it with the bulb pin on it I just pop them on there just in case you want to use them um, and we have a couple of paper clip tags which have just got some lace on there and little butterflies on there, a little bit of seam binding. So that one, one they either direction. So one can go one way, one can go the other way. So I thought they were really pretty. And then we've got a couple of little paper clips um, on my little pinch clips. And they've got some seam binding and some lace on there. And that's a smaller one there. And then we have one of my little... Um, seam binding flowers and that's got a little pearl on the bottom so they're nice because they're nice I like to see them dingle dangle off things and then we have six little um, tag thingies whatever you'd call them so you could pop them on to, into your journal pages and use it as a tux um, so that one's a believe we've got wish and they've got lace and some shiny fabric on there we have love we have dream, hope, and peace. So there we go. So that's another little embellishment pack to pop. I've got a couple of these, so I'll pop them onto my Etsy store. So um, I think I've got I've got four. So they'll be on there. So they're all exactly the same. So and then this one is one of my little um, pocket wallets. Um, so inside, so what I've got, it's got two pockets, so we've got the front pocket here, and then I've got a little pocket there. Um, this one has got, I've made six little tags, so they're little postcards, um, and I've got some butterflies on the front. Um, so there's just six little tags on here, so you can pop them into your journals. Um, you can pop them into little pockets to write on. You can make them as little belly bands or little pockets themselves. So that's those. And then this one I've just attached. I've made a little book. It's like a little book with a butterfly on it. On there. And I've just attached two little seam bagging oops, flowers to the top. Obviously they don't have to stay on there. You can take them off. And the actual wallet is just made out of cardboard which I've sewn so it's card and then I've decoupaged napkins on the front um, with a little butterfly on there and here that says love with a little flower so just decoupaged napkin with a seam binding I thought they were really pretty that just hangs in there and these can just pop in that little pocket ready to use inside I've got another little wallet and this is a one which holds embellishments so obviously this is all on like a, a butterfly theme because I do like butterflies. Um, so I've got a couple on here. So this is just decoupaged again. The same here. And I've put two little tabs there to hold it. Um, we've got Believe on there. So inside we have got a pocket there. We have a little tuck pocket there. Um, a little pocket there. I've got some little corner pockets at the top and the bottom, a little long pocket and then we've got a little side pocket here which I've just popped in there. 
Um, so that's the envelope. So once you've, if you're going to use these and put them in a journal, you can use this um, to put all your other little bits and pieces in. Even your little bit of blank bits of card. So if you make your little bits, you can just pop them inside. They're small enough to keep them safe. So on here, I've got some little um, little tags. So you can pop them onto your journals as belly bands. So you can tuck them in. Um, and all sorts of on there so they just tuck into the little side pocket there and then I have four of these little butterflies so they can be as little tucks as well and little embellishments on your journals or if you want to make some little books like I made on this one um, you can just use these as, as a picture to go onto the front or you can pop them on tags if you're making tags you can use those, so we've got four of those, which we just pop into the, oops, upside down, into here, like that. And then we've got another one, which has butterfly wings on there. And again, it's all been gessoed over the top, so it just gives it that lovely look. Um, again, you can use that as a belly band or a bookmark. Um, I have a couple of tags. Um, this one has a little pocket here at the front. Um, butterflies as well as imagination and belief so you can journal on those and they just pop into here and then I have a little journal you can use that as a pocket or you can use it as just like a little floating pocket little floating um, journal which you can tuck into the belly band so if you put that on as a belly band that can tuck in underneath to do some journaling on and then we have a little book, uh, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, a little pocket, um, which again, which I've decoupaged on here. Um, it's just made out of a little bit of the um, journaling cards that you can get. And then it's just got a little booklet in there. So that goes in there. Like so. And then this one I've got, this is just popped onto a postcard. So this is a postcard on here and then I've just made one of my little fold out corner journaling ones to go on there. So that's sweet and that says happiness on there. And that pops in there and then we've got a little um, dingly dangly down there on the paper clip. And these two are a little journaling books um, with butterflies that says grateful and they just pop in the front pocket. And this one's peace. So there we are. There's those to go in there. So it's a nice little wallet and that just pops in to the top like that. So all your little bits and pieces are safe. So those th bits are going to go on to my Etsy shop. I do have a few more bits in here that I'm making in the process of doing. Little packets of embellishments on here. Little tag packets. Um, and then this one, they're just little tap, um, embellishment packets in envelopes. So that's just a little um, paper bag book with some um, embellishments in. So I will show you those when they're all finished off. Okay, so that's that bit. So on these ones, just to show you quickly what I've actually picked up at the car boot at the weekend. So I've got these lovely little, I think they're little napkins. Um, which are beautiful, there's only had three of them. But what I thought, what I like to do, I like to put my journals in little bags and I thought it should fit on this one. So if I make like a little bag like that, sew it up, and it just pops in there like that. So I thought that fitted really well, so they were good. So I should be making a bag to go with that journal. So that will work well and then these are just gorgeous look at these lovely lace doilies just beautiful this one's really odd look they've got lovely little like butterflies on here so it's absolutely gorgeous look i just love doilies and i've got so many and i just don't like using them that that's really gorgeous it's like made out of like a silk cotton I don't like cutting them up that's for sure 
so I need to make some bigger journals to use them as to pop on the covers I think and these are just beautiful little cotton ones and then we've got this one here so there we are so they're beautiful so I need to start using mine more often so now what I want to show you is how to get from this to this which is quite easy um, and it's fantastic for making um, like I said before your tags so what I'm going to do we have a couple of steps so you take your card any color card you can use I've used the pink card in some of my journals and it comes out absolutely gorgeous um, so you tea stain it first um, I tea stained this twice um, which comes up with lighter here so you've got the lighter colour underneath and then a lighter colour and then as you go over it again you can do it a few steps um, so wait for it to dry and then add more tea to it and you get these lovely um, different contrasts of colour of tea on there and um, so that's what I did for that and then you gesso over the top which I'm going to show you how I gessoed over the tea stain bit okay because and then I'll have to use this one because I have to wait for it to dry very very easy you get your gesso like this this is a lovely big pot that I've just bought um, I don't have a craft shop nearby but I do have an art shop um, so she's got lots of lovely supplies on that so I'm really happy that I've managed to get some gesso because it's very very expensive to have it sent here because obviously they're very very heavy so what I'm doing, I'm just taking a bit of gesso and you lightly wipe it over the, your page. So it's just a quite light wash over the top like this. So normally you'd, you'd use gesso to cover it completely. Um, so if you wanted to cover over your book pages, you normally use a big thick, well not a thick layer, but so it covers it. But this I don't, I just want to just like a wash over the top like this so it's just you can just see it coming through so you can still see the colour underneath and it just washes over the top so you only have to use a tiny tiny bit really so there we go so that's how that comes out so very quick very easy on there pop that on there so once it's dry, it's got a lovely texture to it. Um, it's sort of rough, but it's really nice. And then what I do up there, you can use it like this, which I did leave it. I mean, leave it like this, which I did on this one. Um, but if you wanted to get, whoops, one step up, you can colour it with your ink. So what I did, I've got my little ink pad here which it is actually running out so I need a new one and I just go over the top so it's almost like resists the colour and colours underneath so it colours the paper a little bit more underneath so it almost looks like um, if you've been to the um, the churches in Italy, in Florence, they have the frescoes on the wall and you can see where, where the plaster is sort of like peeling off and coming off in the paint and it gives this sort of effect and I think it just makes it look really old and, and rustic. I think it looks beautiful. Well, that's the type of look that you want, but you can use it then if you make it an old um, vintage type of journal. So that's it, so that's how it comes out. So you can have it this colour or you can leave it plain. But I think the effect is fantastic. What I'll do is I'll take some pictures and close-ups um, so you can see it a little bit better uh, and pop them on the end of my video. But I do think it's very, very effective. And if you do, if you have a little batch run, you could do lots of different coloured cards um, and then you can have a real good selection of, of, of oldie woldy papers which you can make your tags and books and all sorts of things out of. So there we are guys, I hope you enjoyed my flip throughs and 
a quick little um, tutorial there. So please do join me in my next videos. I will be making more now. Um, as I said before, June was just an absolute chaotic month. Um, so I'm going to be back and I will be bringing you more things to do. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and please join me next time. All right, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.